Hello everyone. I am Vipul Jain and today I will be showcasing that how can you implement cascading drop down behavior in Power Apps. So I will be showcasing that how you can implement the cascading drop down not between the two drop downs. I will be showcasing it between three drop downs. So as you can see country, state and city these are the three drop downs where I will be showcasing the cascading functionality in Power Apps. So let's see this in action. So here I'm using a master data list which will act as the master data list for the drop downs. So I have three columns here country, state and city all are single line of text. In countries I have Germany let's say for example state Berlin and city Butch. Similarly for India and USA. So these are the countries. Similarly, for India, let's say, for example, the state is Rajasthan, Assam, Karnataka, and similarly, the cities. So this is the master list, or you can say master data, which we will use in the drop downs in Power Apps. Another list which I will be using is, is the cascading information list, which is kind of a transaction list. Here also, I have created three custom columns, country, state, and city, again, single line of text. Title is the by default column, which comes with any SharePoint list. So let's see this in Power Apps. So in Power Apps, I'm in the same, uh, you can say project Power Apps Crash Course. I have created a screen, SCR underscore cascading. Okay. Now, first of all, the most important thing to make the connection with our SharePoint list or the data source. So that will be the first thing which we will be doing in this particular demo. So let's make the connection with the SharePoint list. Let's go to the data. Let's search for the data source which in our case is SharePoint. So search for the SharePoint data source. It will list all the online sites which are available in your tenant site collections. So in my case, it's POC site. I want to make connection with these two lists, which is cascading master data and cascading information. Click on connect. So you see here Power Apps is trying to make a connection with the two SharePoint list. And you see here the connection has been created with the SharePoint list. All right. So now we will be creating our form. So for creating the form, I am on the screen SCR underscore cascading. Simply you have to uh, drag and drop or maybe you have to insert precisely the controls on your screen. So this will be, let's say, for example, title, title label. This is a label control which I have created. This is a label control. Similarly, I can add a text input control to capture the title values. So this is the text input. Let's change the default value. I don't want the text input here. And let's rename this control. Let's rename this control txt underscore title. txt underscore title. All right. Now, similarly, for the country, state, and city, we have to use three labels again. So quickly, I'm adding those three labels uh, on the form. I'll say this is this is country label similarly i will add another label which will act as the state so this is country i will add another label and this will be i will rename it i will change the text to state all right and similarly i'm not i'm not considering the ui the placement and alignment of the controls because i want to showcase the functionality that how you can achieve the cascading behavior in Power Apps. Similarly, one more label I'm going to add here, and this label would be city. All right, so we have added four labels. Now I'm going to add three drop downs for country, state, and city. So here I'm adding the country drop down, and I will rename it. I will rename it to dd underscore country. Okay, you should rename it. All the controls, it's uh, best practice, I will say, to rename the controls. Again, one more drop down. So, this will be my dd underscore state. So, rename it dd underscore state. Similarly, one more drop down we want. So, we'll be adding one more drop down, and this drop down will be dd underscore city. All right. So you see on the form, I have added three drop downs and one text input to capture the title. So if I run this app, now you see I have a title field, 
country state and city and now let's change the values which needs to be there in the drop downs so for the country what you have to do simply is you have to select the data source okay in our case the data source as i showed you is cascading master data so data source items will be coming from the cascading master data so you can select the items for country drop down as cascading master data similarly value value i want to see the country values okay now let's run this app now you see here it is showing me all the values which are there in the drop down which is not correct so what we can do is we can use a formula we can use a formula on the country drop down okay and that formula or the function is that show me only the distinct values of the country correct show me only the distinct value of the country so distinct is a function which will give you only the unique values or the distinct values all right so i want the distinct values on the title now if i run this app you see here only it is showing germany india and usa at the same time i want to use the sort function so that all the values are sorted in a proper order so i can use the sort function okay and i can basically sort on the result okay now you see if i again run this app the, all the values will be sorted germany india and usa so the values are sorted the values are distinct and i am getting it from the master data that is my master list all right now for the state drop down what we are going to do we are going to do the similar thing which we did in country so we are going to select the master data as the cascading master data the value the column which you want to show is the state column now depends on this is something which you should understand that there is a very good functionality in power apps to make the cascading drop downs depends on so we know this state drop down is dependent on the country drop down and the matching field in the master data for this country drop down we can take from the column country all right and click on apply the moment you click on apply you see in the formula bar a formula has been added automatically by the power app so you see here filter cascading uh, master data which is our source list and country is equal to dd underscore country dot selected dot result so we are doing a filtration over here for the data so let's see this in action so if i select germany in the country drop down you see the state is showing from the country related to the country only that is berlin hamburg hamburg now you see again hamburg is coming twice why because we have not used the distinct function yet on the state drop down similarly if i select india for the india you see the states are coming rajasthan assam karnataka again repetitive values so we will fix it now that the repetitive values should not come in the state drop down also so for the state drop down in the formula we are going to use again the same function to get the unique values which is the distinct function in power apps so i have added distinct function okay outside the filter function and on the distinct function where i want to make the where i want to get the distinct value i want to get the distinct value from the state column all right so from the state column you want to get the distinct values now if i run this okay if i select india in the country you see it is only showing the four states which is there in your master data rajasthan assam karnataka and madhya pradesh similarly for germany now it will be showing you only two values which will be berlin and hamburg in the state drop down now similarly here we have to do the sorting for the state drop down because you see if i select india the rajasthan should not be coming at the top instead assam should be coming at the top so we have to implement the sorting also for the state drop down so let's add the sort function and this will be sorted on the result all right now if i run this app you see here if i select india assam is at the top then karnataka madhya pradesh and rajasthan so the values are unique and the values are sorted now in the state drop down now let's come to the city drop down for the city similarly what we have done in the state we have to do the similar thing for the city as well so in the items you can select from where you want to get the items that is cascading master data what value you want to show is the city now depends on so now city drop down should depend not on the country it should depend on the state so from this drop down select dd underscore state 
and the matching field should be the state column and click on apply all right now you see here if i run this app india if i select let's say india state is let's say rajasthan and the city it is showing me now alwar and jaipur and for the city drop down as such there is no need to apply the distinct because those will be distinct values only and no need to apply the sort as well okay so this that is how you can implement the cascading behavior between country state and city these are the three drop downs now let's add this data back into the sharepoint list for that what you can do is you just add a button uh, i'm adding a button and the text of the button i will say let's say text property i want to change is submit data so i will say submit data okay so i have just changed the button and let's make some change in the color of this button so i have added the text change the text submit data now on the on select of this button let's select the on select property the on select property of this button what we have to do is we have to save the data in our another list which is cascading information okay so till now we have got the values from the master data for country state and city second we have applied the cascading behavior between these three drop downs now the last part is that we have to submit also the data from this form back to our sharepoint list or the data source okay so we have to select the on select property of this button and write some formula here so i will be using a function which is called patch so you have to use the patch function because patch allows you to add or modify the record in a sharepoint list or in your data source so let's use the patch function now if you see the arguments or the parameters which patch asked for first of all it asked for the source so in our case we already know that our source is cascading information where we want to add the data this is the first thing okay the second parameter is the record what record you want to add so here i will be using a function which is called defaults now what this defaults do is basically it creates or takes the blank schema of your source or the sharepoint list in our case so here i will be passing the same list which is cascading cascading information so that it creates the blank schema it understand that what schema we want to create or what values we want to create in this sharepoint list okay and simply now we have to pass all the values which we want to add in the respective columns so if you remember in the cascading information we have four columns title country state and city so here we have to pass all the values for title for country for state and city so that they can be saved back in the data source which is sharepoint list so for the title for the title column for the title column i will pass the value that whatever is added in the txt underscore let's say title dot text so this is the value which i want to pass correct and for the country for the country column i want to pass the value which is there in my drop down which is dd underscore dd underscore country dot selected dot result all right similarly for the state column i want to add dd underscore state dot selected dot result and the last is our city column so in the city column i have to update the value from the city drop down so dd underscore city dot selected dot city and you can do the format text as usual as always so now your patch function is ready so i will explain the patch function once again in the patch function you have to pass the data source you are passing the defaults just to get the blank schema from the data source there are four columns title country state and city which you have to patch or basically which you have to add the value so that's why you are using these four columns title country state and city which needs to be patched back or added back to your sharepoint list all right so now let's see this in action so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new record so that when i click on this button the data should get added in the cascading information list which is my data source or you can say the transaction list okay so i will say power apps crash course training i will select the country as for example usa 
state value should automatically get changed because these are the cascading drop downs so state you see here alaska and florida i select florida all these values are coming from the master data and city i can definitely select as apollo beach and i click on submit data the moment i click on submit data now if i if i refresh my list which is a transaction list cascading information you see a value has been a value has been created in the sharepoint list power apps crash course training country usa state florida city apollo beach so that is how we can uh, implement the cascading behavior between the different drop downs i have shown you not the two drop down behavior the three drop downs cascading behavior in this demo we will extend this demo we can extend this demo definitely what you can do is that you can on another screen add a edit form okay and try to remove the fields from the cascading information list and you can also add your custom controls for example drop downs or combo box for the country state and city cascading behavior that's all for this video keep watching thank you